Good morning, all of you. Uh, I'm very much happy to introduce myself. This is Payal Dutta, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, Itza College. And this is the Itza College Present Dot Talk webinar series. It's my pleasure to be the moderator for this session. Itza College, uh, I can say it's one During that, so we continuously strive for excellence and try to create a positive impact in every field we pursue. Coming to the so dot talk series, it is our 17 dot talk webinar session, which is organized by the Department of Commerce and Management at College. The so College dot talk series is a platform; it's a digital platform which is organized, which is which allows or which uh, encourages speakers and intellectuals to share their thoughts, ideas from their prominent field. Now, not taking much time, I would like to uh, welcome our speaker, Dr. Joyjit. Uh, from the from on his, on the topic work from home a bird's eye view now work from home is not a new term which is intensively used in the present uh, global crisis which we are going in the pandemic covid-19 uh, work from home is something like we are usually going through it and it's helping us to continue with our work to deal with the day to day affairs which we are doing in our work um, now when we discuss about this uh, work from home encourage uh, when we are doing that we can say that uh, as this term is extensively used it help it, it uses the digital platforms such as google meet microsoft teams and then uh, with these digital platforms, various meetings and uh, all these discussions are taking place in the work environment. And uh, work from home, and uh, with these digital platforms, on human capital of all organizations are able to continue with routine work. Now, uh, when we are precisely talking about work from home, the education sector is the worst effectively worst affected by this pandemic COVID-19. And uh, the, our speaker, he will highlight the, he will uh, give his discussion, his, uh, his stand on the work from home for the educators for institute, for big organization institute. Now I would like to uh, describe his uh, profile. Uh, so Dr. Jojit Sanyal, he is the assistant professor in the Department of Commerce, Assam University. Prior joining to Assam University, he was working as a faculty in Lalit Bharali College, Guwahati. He was also a guest lecturer in uh, Assam uh, Guwahati University and a junior researcher. Uh, he have written. He loves writing, and he have written two novels and one short story book. He has also edited a book, Managing Human Resource in the 21st Century. Now, not taking much time, I would like to give my time to the speaker, Dr. Joyjit Sanyal, and uh, I would request the participants to kindly mute your mic and uh, during the session is going on and use a chat box if you have any query to ask while the session is ongoing. Thank you, sir. Please take your time. Okay, good morning, uh, everyone. I think my voice is uh, <coughs> audible to everyone. I hope so. Yes, Bye, sir. Yes, sir. We can hear you. Yes, we can hear you, sir. Okay, thank you, uh, Payal, for um, uh, giving my introduction and as well as the uh, giving a uh, synoptic view of the uh, topic we are going to discuss today. So uh, I think I will be starting with the presentation then. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can okay, I'm presenting from my screen. Okay. Yes, sir. Payal, just uh, tell me if you are able to see my screen because uh, yes sir. Not, not not yet not yet sir we can't see the screen now can you see my screen now no no sir no sir no sir not yet no Now? No, sir. No, sir. You are not seeing my screen. No, sir. But I am presenting already. 
sir uh, please close the file once again and uh, you can open it and share it once again i mean just close it and close share it once again close the ppt slides and you can share it once again no oh, uh, you are not seeing my screen na no no sir no sir here i have already given the present option kind of problem again sir can you share it now where can i get this download the option it's in the file option sir file menu file when you open the ppt there is a file option you can download it i am sharing it with your uh, google id okay 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 sir just see if you are getting it in my mail id sir college mail id yeah uh, not yeah, college yeah. mail id gmail okay sure i am checking it sir you got it i am checking sir I got it, sir. I'm sharing. Got it. Yes, yes, sir. I'm, I'm sharing. Okay, okay. You just uh, share it then. I think you can see. I can see, but it's not quite uh, clear over here. Anyways, uh, it's a little bit slow, I presume. Hi, Payal. That present option is there. If you click on it, the slides will go into uh, the presentation mode, which will also increase the font size. Upper right corner, besides share, you have the present option. If you yeah, 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 I did it. I did it. I did. It. Yeah. Yes, all yes, right. Yes. All right. Yes.
Yes, sir, you can proceed. Okay, so um, uh, uh, as you can uh, already see on your slide that um, what topics for topic for today is with regard to the uh, term uh, work from home. Uh, Pile, can you just, uh, yes, yes, keep it here. Second, second, second. You can just uh, skip to the second slide. Go to the second slide. Slide, yes. Okay. Okay. So, work from home. As uh, this is a term uh, which for us in our country, I think this is relatively new for many of us, if I'm not wrong. But uh, this term is not actually uh, a new term to be heard about or spoken about in the last few months. This has been evident in many other, uh, many other countries where they have adopted this um, uh, policy of work from home. Well, can you go to the next slide? Okay, now here you see this is a um, telecommunication um, organization that is in 1994, you see. It was around in 1994 on the 20th of September where around 32,000 of AT&T employees stayed home. Now, this was not, just, not, not because of coronavirus or any kind of virus attack during that period of time. They weren't sick or on strike. They were telecommunicating. So you see employees ranging from the CEO to phone operators were part of an experiment that involved one lakh people. Its purpose to explore how far a vast organization could go in transforming the workplace by moving the work to the worker instead of the worker to work. Today, AT&T is just one among many organizations pioneering the alternative workplace. So here we use the term AW, that is your alternative workplace. It need not necessarily be an office setup, you see. It may be anywhere. We can work from anywhere. This is what they proved. And I'll tell you what, what was the result out of it, what, what were the benefits out of it. I'll just come to that as well. Uh, we have time for that, I presume. I'll go to the next slide, please. Okay. You see now, uh, this is about the global giants who have adopted work from home in the last few months. I'm not uh, directly coming to India right now, but let us talk about Google and Facebook, for example, because they are quite popular and we are using uh, all of these technologies being provided by these giants. Like we are using Google Meet right now. It is from the house of Google. Now, you see, Google and Facebook, they have already, already told their workers that they did not necessarily have to come to the workplace office setup for uh, work purposes till 2021, you see. Amazon said its headquarter employees will stay home at least till October. Microsoft told staff Monday that working from home remains optional through October for most employees. Though the company will allow some workers to voluntarily return to their office in stages. Obviously, there are some uh, groups of employees that require to go to the office setup for some kind of work. That cannot be avoided. We cannot say that everyone can work from home. But yes, uh, obviously, what is the necessity of working from home at the moment is that we need to contain the spread of this coronavirus. And you see again, Twitter decided to give up on timeline altogether, telling most employees they can just work from home forever, you see. So this is the scenario in the global arena, I would say. Uh, Payal, next slide, please. Now, in India also, we had some, uh, I mean, uh, some positive sides of it. Like, you see, in the IT and the B uh, business processing organizations, what happened is that almost 4.3, that is two-third, two-third of the workforce, they have already moved to this work-from-home model. This is source I have provided over here. But there are some regulatory issues that need to be addressed, obviously, uh, to uh, contain this problem of working from home. Uh, next slide.
फाइल नेक्स्ट स्लाइड फाइल आर फेसिंग एनी इश्यूज विद चेंजिंग द स्लाइड्स Hi, Payal. The slide is stuck on global giants adopting WFH. Uh, are you not able to change the slides in this case? Well, obviously, we are facing connectivity issues everywhere. This is the uh, main uh, issue with regard to using of internet and other kinds of things. It's a big issue, big concern for everyone. Can you see it, sir? Ah, uh, yes, I can see it. It's yeah. not quite visible. Yeah, I can see it. Uh, yes, you just uh, present from here. Yeah. Yeah. Now coming to uh, the difference, what I find is that the IT sector has been able to um, uh, conceive this idea of work from home, and they are working well because um, uh, from past evidence, we have seen that. many countries have adopted this especially while it's the it sector but what about the non it sector as i said that it is the education sector and the corporate sector some of the corporate sectors obviously not all they have not been able to uh, utilize this work from home actually there are some problems obviously related to it now in big it companies that's okay like google yahoo microsoft fine chalo theek hai but see what about the workers in small and medium companies or non it sector uh, which are worst hit as most of them are unaware or are unable to manage how to collaborate how connecting tools work amid corona virus pandemic so this is an issue you see i'll go to the next slide this is an issue that has not been actually thought about obviously this this pandemic is all of a sudden it is not a planned pandemic obviously but the thing is that we need to manage what to be what what is to be done at this point of time now small companies from education sector to corporate all are scrambling to get their acts together as threat of corona virus reaches their premises forcing them to send their employees home with old age laptops poor hardware slow internet we are evident of that obviously and with no power backup like ups and are advised to connect through software like zoom google hangouts obviously hangout is now it is meet uh, microsoft team block etc there are so many devices obviously which we can we can use to connect each other all the employees may be connected but there are problems i told you what are these problems sir video conferencing messaging collaboration tools and document sharing are just a few example of technologies that facilitated remote work additional bandwidth and network capacity may also be needed given the increasing number of users and volume of communication so you see at one point of time when there was just 100 for example i'm just giving an example there was 100 number of people using the internet connectivity sitting at home from 9 to 5 in the morning uh, whole day now we find that there are 1000 number of people using the same bandwidth so what is the problem the internet connectivity gets loose right that is the problem we are facing right now for example see file next slide okay technology adaptation finally so are we ready to actually uh, adapt this technology or not this is a question that moves us everyone last 3 months we have been thinking whether we are ready to adopt this technology or not obviously adoption of technology is a primary kind of a nature 
in this kind of situation and uh, being in this 21st century obviously there are a lot of things that are being easily done with the help of this technology but are we prepared to use them in a proper manner or not now here you see moving with the technology the trend has never been a forte of indian companies let alone being ahead in the technology game many of the smaller medium sized business still do not think that technology can help boost business and productivity the old manager can't comprehend that the employee can work remotely but still deliver they love to see the employees logging in the office for long hours in front of them a lot is needed to be changed to accept remote working culture in india the pandemic might bring the necessary change yeah today we are being forced to work from home but just think just think of the fact 3 months back or maybe 6 months back if you would have wanted to work from home would your employer have allowed you that i don't think so because in india that is not a kind of a thing that is allowed that is allowed or or maybe maybe that is uh, encouraged because employer wants to see you sitting in front of you working because they are not sure whether you are going to work at home or not this is one issue you see and so finally maybe maybe this pandemic will will allow us to think out of the book that whether it's time that we finally use this technology file next slide please okay now here you see what what is the scenario india and the rest of the nations not rest of the nations but i'm talking about the developed nations obviously over here where do they stand many companies in europe have, and the us have been conditioned to work from home as a result of which they had a robust cyber security system to access data and enable an environment outside of the firewall organizations who have been implementing cloud based solutions for their key applications could swiftly shift operations to home that was very easy for them because you see they have been using this technology they have been using this idea of working from home for a long time of from a long back obviously google for example they do not they did never have restrictions for their employees that they have to be at their workplace for 10 hours in a day they can work from anywhere it was there obviously it was for not all categories of employees but many for many they could work from home but in indian farms which have been forced to implement work from home remember we have been forced it was not like uh, the employers wanted us to work from home but since the government pursued them they should allow their workers to work from home because of this lockdown strategy nothing else from home policy at short notice have to strengthen their data storage and security systems employees need to be vigilant against potential phishing attacks false emails or text messages from malicious actors posing as their <coughs> bosses seeking vital data so there is this there is this always this problem in india you see this is a big problem security systems data storage like uh, how many of us have this um, uh, google data storage of 500 gb we are not paying for that obviously we are using this free service 15 gb right for data storing uh, storing our data you see why would why why don't you use it because we have never felt the necessity this is one one reason you see and the next thing is that if we store our data in the google cloud the problem is that can we retract it back because we need proper uh, internet connectivity whenever we want to get it back so it may happen that at that point of time when you want to see that data there is no internet connectivity this is quite evident in india this is a big problem file next okay now the question is that is it the time to embrace the remote work culture in india this is a question in front of us this is a big question and uh, to some extent we have already been using though the lockdown strategy has gone uh, somehow somehow in some places this is being um, normalized in, in many places but yet we never know that how long uh will be under the attack of this pandemic or this corona virus so it might it might so happen that we might be having to use this 
uh, work from home culture for a long period of time and sometimes for some sectors it may become a permanent phenomena and uh, now why why do indian companies seem hesitant to embrace the remote work culture this is the question now next slide okay now here you see i have list you get it sir five huh yes i can see i can see so here i have listed down these five um, uh, problems that uh, that may be evident actually for why uh, we, the indian companies are quite hesitant to use this uh, work from home culture the first you see now lack of infrastructure now working remotely comes with its own set of challenges such as, such as having access to internet with a decent speed while metro cities boost a lot of options for remote working like co-working spaces and cafes where you can use free wifi the same cannot be said of smaller cities and towns now say if you are having a zoom or google meet call scheduled or uh, need to send out important emails and your internet gives you trouble we all know how that feels obviously i am also feeling the same you see i was trying to present but unable to present the same so this is a kind of a thing that 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 hampers our morale you see also a lot of work this is relies on the internet people store and access files in the cloud and all this means your systems are sinking and dependent on the internet so next uh, we come to the problem of privacy yeah this is another big problem in front of us while everyone seems to be talking about the growing prevalence of nuclear families the concept of joint family still exists in our country it may not be possible for person working from home to have a separate room all for himself to work from family members might unconsciously thwart his or her privacy this could result in distraction and might affect the quality of work as well then we have this cultural stigma as well what is this cultural stigma now you see uh as i told you already in the beginning itself that uh, there is a preconceived notion in many employer that employees do not work do not work at home they are Uh, they become quite lazy when it comes to working from home now moving on with this cultural stigma i'll tell you working from home is not yet a mainstream activity in india and that is why it is looked upon with negativity working from home has never been a part of our culture and people don't take it seriously yet there are all sorts of preconceived notion about people working remotely like he or she is lazy or socially awkward it is hard to find of the mindsets of uh people around you who feel that you are probably doing nothing substantial with your life no matter how significant project you must have taken up now this is one reason you see cultural stigma come to the next one is fear of lack of productivity so obviously even even most of us most of us even i personally feel that there is a lot of loss uh, loss lack in productivity when it comes from home especially for the people uh, belonging to the education system Uh, education sector uh, i do not know about this it sector i think i don't think they are uh, lacking in any kind of productivity because they are well trained to work from home but when it comes to for example this other sector this non it sector there is lack of productivity now you see even though one of the major factor to support remote working is to avoid the time wasted in commuting it paints a very dreary picture but the same employees do not work product work productively and achieve the desired results it is for this very reason that managers frown upon work from home policy a lot of time this spark is used non judiciously leading to productivity issues differences in salaries is the next one now what happens is that uh, when it comes to differences in salaries like if your organization is located say out of mumbai okay i'm just taking this name uh, of one of a town city and you are working remotely from pune you could be offered a salary in the standard of living in new york city the same position could be fetching a higher salary if an employee is out of the office this is also one of the factors which discourages employees opting from from home so you see these are the main reasons why why i think that uh, in india 
the uh, work from home culture may take i'm not saying it 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 may not it cannot be adopted or it should not be adopted but it might take a little bit longer period of time to adapt okay so uh, pile please go to the next slide now okay so uh, i made a short study in the last uh, week uh, this was done with uh, the educationist uh, from different parts of the country you see now uh, how did they gather this data obviously using technology i used this uh, google form to collect the data uh, not only that i used whatsapp i used mails mail id so i sent them a google form to understand what they think with regard to uh, using of this um, technology or what did what do they think with regard to your the concept of your work from home so here you can see my uh, respondents belong to different age groups you can see over here and uh, although it, i cannot i cannot see it properly here it's not visible clear but i think majority of them belong to the group of 31 to 40 years here if i'm not wrong so anyways uh, pile please go to the next slide okay the, this is the different uh, positions held by them in different institutes like most of them are uh, assistant professors right some of them are also gap lecturers you can see some of these respondents who have responded to me some of them are them are professors some of them are uh, research scholars but who are also actively uh, involved in teaching and some of them are educators as well so next slide please okay so what kind of institutions do they belong to so you can see uh, that most of them belong to your pg and above organizations uh, ug organizations ug institutions and as well as your both pg and ug next okay now this is interesting you see over here uh, i asked them to rate uh, that how do, how how satisfied are they from this work from home arrangements so here i just find that here obviously one means uh, they are highly satisfied and five means they are highly dissatisfied so i see that only um, around 35% if i'm not wrong it's not clear on my screen but uh, it is 35% of them who are who are moderately satisfied and it's a very less percentage of people less percentage of people who are satisfied from this work from home arrangements so uh, this is the uh, scenario at the moment as you can see now this is another question that i asked them that whether they are feeling optimistic or pessimistic working from home so here i i have seen that most of them are feeling majority of these respondents felt pessimistic almost 40% if i am not wrong they felt pessimistic about working from home that is they are not happy with this work from home uh, setup and uh, interestingly some of them said that it's uh, almost 27% if i am not wrong here that uh, they think that it's the same thing for them whether they are working from home or working from their office next so uh, here i asked them about what are the basic three biggest challenges they face when it comes to working from home so we see that internet connectivity it's uh, 45 number of responses that is 60% here so internet connectivity and another one is your communication with students is harder so uh, obviously it, it has been quite hard for all of us uh, in the last few months uh, communicating with the student because we are all uh, accustomed with uh, communicating with the students in the class in the physical um, arena but here we are using this virtual classrooms and obviously that has been a big problem for every one of us so apart from that you can see there are a lot of different uh, choices being given by these uh, respondents too many distractions at home it also poses a great challenge keeping a regular schedule obviously 9 to 5 is a different issue and keeping a regular schedule at home is also a different issue okay so a lot of issues are here you can see okay next okay now do you have all the equipments that you need in order to work from home we can see that uh, majority of them has said no this is an issue again what are the what are the equipments that we might be requiring 
maybe a printer maybe a projector for taking such kind of classes online classes i uh, though we have this google and other platforms but uh, somehow somehow it, it might take some time for us to adjust to this kind of things and that is why maybe they said that uh, we do not have enough equipments to work from home next file dedicated workplace so here again you see we do not 54 54 percentage of the respondents have responded that they do not have a dedicated workspace at their home what is a dedicated workspace somewhere that nobody can disturb or distract them while they are taking their classes or working work, working from home so a majority of them here again do not have this kind of dedicated work Next. now how many of these respondents think that they keep a regular schedule every day just 20 percent most days around 33 percent so you, you see here also uh, usually when you are working from our offices what you find is that we have a regular schedule but when you are working from home uh, evidently you can see that not everyone is able to keep a regular schedule of the same file next okay now uh, this is another shocking point you see here uh, what is this percentage file i cannot see 66 66.2% 66.2% ah, no 66.2% of the people think that they did not have any such kind of uh, their institution have not provided them with uh, ample uh, training to take online classes or use these it tools now this is a very very shocking point we are in the 21st century and um, uh, we have lots of IT um, uh, products that can be used for enhancing this uh, teaching learning process. But unfortunately, our organizations in India, education institutions in India have failed to provide because you see why I'm saying in India, because this data is collected from different teachers, education is from different parts of the country, not just Northeast or Assam. So I feel that this is a very sorry part to say. And uh, I don't blame this pandemic or coronavirus for uh, the, taking up this uh, work from home culture. But this is a separate thing. We should have been somehow trained to use uh, this IT products by now so that somehow, somehow, to some extent, we could have used it. But here, uh, I'm sorry to say this is the real picture you can see. Yeah, some of them have said that. Uh, some tutorial videos were being sent on how to use zoom okay some of them have also responded i'm not aware of it till now you see just uh, these data were collected if i'm not wrong 10 days back so even after only, uh, two weeks even after two weeks uh, sorry two months we see that uh, many of them many of not many but some of them are still unaware of how to um, use these things or what to do now okay next File. Okay, now access to various ebooks. You see here the result. What is it? Pile 71%, right? 71.6%, yes, sir. Ah. So you see 71.6% of this respondents say that their institutions have not provided them with access to ebooks. Now, ebooks are costly, ebooks are quite costly. And at this point of time, many of us could not even visit our institutions to collect our physical books, do not have access to libraries, you cannot go anywhere, obviously, during this lockdown period. Right. So ebooks are the only one source that can be used. But unfortunately, 71% of these uh, respondents belonging to various educational institutes in the country have said that their institution have not provided the same. Next file. Okay, now you see 63.5% of these respondents, educationist, said that their productivity level has been empowered because of this work from home culture. See, and this is a very, very sad story, I would say rather. Even I feel that my productivity level has gone down somehow. I'm not happy with this work from home arrangements. But this is something that we are forced to use. Obviously, there is no other way. Okay. Next, uh, earlier one, earlier one, earlier one, five. yeah. Now, health hazards, this is something very important and uh, very um, 
uh, something what you can see that what 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 are the health hazard this um, um, people um, uh, i mean the respondents think we are taking because of these work from arrangements so you can see from here we have this neck issues and spondylitis i am also feeling the same obviously in the last few months then uh, there is this uh, what is it eye problems yeah you can see many of us are facing these same kind of problems because we have to spend long hours using our laptops or mobile phones then uh, we have this anxiety depression then we have this obesity problem so this is another thing obesity problem because uh, during lockdown you cannot go anywhere you cannot go for exercise you cannot you cannot go for work uh, you are debarred from any kind of physical work so obviously you are, you are just sitting home taking some classes making notes sitting on and on on and on and you are going to face some kind of obesity problem obviously so apart from apart from that there are other problems that are also there but these are the major things that uh, this respondents have said that they are facing this kind of issues in the last few months well next one okay now uh, does work from home require added mental efforts 82% said that yes so you can see so it is requiring more mental efforts why because we are not trained we have not been trained in the last few years uh, to use these uh, different kinds of uh, uh, options to work from home obviously so this is one issue next i think we are coming to the end yeah so uh, i have given a picture over here i think everyone can see that it is not end there is a thank you as well file but uh, okay you can take some questions now i guess i also have some comments from the uh, uh, different um, uh, respondents who have actually uh, said that what are the positive effects they are having and what are the negative effects they are facing uh, i can share that because uh, obviously i cannot share my screen i have to share it to pile pile can show it later on uh at the end obviously now let us take some questions or if you have some queries i can i think we can go on with that now bye thank you so much sir i would now request our participants uh you can use last questions or you can raise your questions you can even use the chat box to ask your questions or you can unmute your mic and continue with the question Okay. Meanwhile, our audience asks a question. I would like to ask you a question, sir. Mm -hmm. Sir, uh, since this uh, work from home is like uh, getting popular, and uh, unless this pandemic gets a solution, we have to continue with this normal. So, as you discuss the issues, what do you think like we can overcome or we can do something so that these issues can be overcome to some extent? What do you suggest according to you? Now, uh, these is issues. Uh, according to me are something like uh, what should i say main issue is with regard to training of how we can how we can use this uh, different technological devices today so until unless we do not have a proper training of the same we cannot use it obviously it is quite impossible for all of us to use secondly we come to this internet connectivity this is the main problem i feel because we cannot just keep on uh, i mean waiting scrolling buffering this kind of things this is something that that always hampers our uh, our mindset but when you look at this uh, developed countries they are using it very well because the bandwidth limit they uh, have is uh, more than us and and while uh, you have been a part of uh, assam university if our uh, exactly sir. Yes, sir so you are, uh, you are very much aware of the of the network problem in the campus itself I'm exactly, sure. Exactly. Because we have been there two years. So even even today, apart from Jio, we do not have even 3G service of Airtel or Vodafone. Vodafone, you do not have network at all. You think now this is the situation even after so many years. So what what can we expect now? Just tell me. This is the problem. And there are a lot of there are a lot of places. There are a lot of places where you do not have even the uh, minimum network to use. You see. you cannot make phone calls forget about any kind of video call 
forget about that okay thank you sir anyone i request the participants uh, you can unmute your mic and ask questions i think sir we have a question in the chat box i will read it out for you okay just um, just just a minute i'm going to send you something just wait so that you can show it uh, later on just a minute one file because i cannot show it obviously it's not working over here Okay, just let me take the question after that. Uh, we'll try to okay, we have a question again. from. Uh, uh, where is the question? Well, it's in the chat box, sir. I'll read it out for you. It's in the uh, question in the chat box. It's from Prasenjit Bhadra. He's the assistant professor from Bhutsa College. He says that on part of the employer, how to access the performance of the employees during work from home. Ah. Huh? He says that he asks that, that on part uh, of the oh, yeah. on part sure, of the sure. uh, can I say yeah, yeah, can I explain sir? Okay, uh, sir. First of all, uh, thank you very much for your like presentation. It was very good. Uh, my question is like on part of the employer. Okay, how to? Uh, I've just written that spelling wrong. How to assess the performance of the employees during uh, those who are doing work from home? Because at the end of every semester or after the means year end. we we need to do a performance reporting in order to build uh, means put a weightage on each employees okay so how to assess the performance of the employees on part of the employer okay so uh, are you are you asking with regard to it sector or are you asking with regard to education uh, sector basically education sector because we are basically education, education sector. sector yeah 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 so uh, i i have already um, uh, seen that uh, mm -hmm. some of this um, private organizations i have seen okay so yeah. they are using this google classroom uh, platform okay so mm -hmm. we are keeping an eye on the employees you see how mm -hmm. in the google classroom there is a classroom there yeah. are a number of students added there and each students are assigned with a particular um, uh, teacher okay Now this teacher okay. is required to assess them now whenever this teacher is assessing them the employee is also keeping an eye then what he is doing how he is assessing them so he is getting all kinds of data this is one way how they can keep a vigilance over the employer sorry so obviously the performance can be assessed in that manner as well okay okay so sir. this is one way there are lots of ways obviously this is one way i am talking about right now because this is something that i have experienced myself okay okay sir yeah thank you sir thank you sir Hello, sir. Hello. Ha. Huh. Can you hear me? Sir? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes, I Hello. can hear you. Okay, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Joyjit, for uh, I'm from the Department of Commerce, the Civil Service. Uh, I'm taking care of this department, and thank you for accepting our invitations for this uh, ah, webinars. And it was a wonderful mm -hmm. session. We learned a different pers perspective from these uh, sessions, and my question to you is that uh, yes you have rightly mentioned that uh, we are facing problem to organize our students in a virtual mm -hmm. so uh, and, and i think it will go long because this pandemic we don't know when it will get over uh, right yes, now yes, exactly. so my question to you is do you have any suggestion to improvise this uh, to improvise this because sooner or later we have to find a solution for this because at least uh, from one year uh, six month to one year hmm. okay uh, are you talking about uh, the education sector if i'm not wrong yes 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 yes, yes. Uh, well <laughs> there are certain things that needs to be changed like in india we have seen that uh, what we do is that when we are um, uh, assessing a student we usually go for the descriptive method am i right so uh, that needs to be changed because uh, 
there are a lot of online platforms that can be used for assessing the student as well by not using the descriptive method alone i'm not saying descriptive method should not be used at all we can use the other methods as well so there are a lot of online platforms like you can use the kahoot app there is a app called the kahoot which you can have, which you can use uh, to take some test with the students assessing them using this app so uh, obviously you have to use some multiple choice questions there so this is another way which you can resort to for the time being uh, rest uh, what we see is that many countries are using such kind of things obviously for assessing their students but in india this has been a, a little bit uh, on the downgrade side i would say but uh, if you are talking about only the education sector this is not viable for all the education sector or the uh, different uh, classes for example like uh, there are a lot of institutions that are located in a backward area or in the rural region where you don't have enough of internet connectivity where they belong to some government institutes so uh, basically they will be hampered i'm saying what i'm saying is that this is limited to only people who are having access to smartphone laptops internet connectivity only for them rest everybody is going to get hampered that is why i said the education sector is the worst hit because of this pandemic now okay sir one more thing like we are from uh, commerce and management as you know and we have to take some like practical classes and mm -hmm. uh, yes yeah, some they, they use the advantage of youtube and all so mm -hmm. what are the other way we can make it for practical classes like for practical classes uh, yeah yes for practical classes you see uh, what we can do is at one point of time the teachers can at least visit their institutions okay if not the students because we will have a very social gathering kind of a thing if it's with the students and there are a lot of institutes in the world which have opened up to pandemic you see there are some schools in france as i have gone through a news item around 70 kids have been uh, fallen sick after uh, the schools were reopened so anyways whatever be it what you can do is that like you are talking about practical classes i understand even even our institute is suffering when it comes to like statistics and other such kind of classes or practical sums of accountancy it's quite difficult uh, on the online platform now what you can do is that um uh, we can we can uh, we can go go on uh, the teachers can move on to the institute okay next uh, they can have a online uh, conference over there using the chalk and board technique there you can do uh, your uh, uh, your summation uh, sum uh, then your statistics uh, whatever be it uh, on the chalk and board the students can see that using the online conference and they can learn it obviously there that is one method that can be adopted uh for the time being that is what i see rest to i don't see that there is any other solution for the time being even even if you look at this uh, um this um, um field study that i have done it has been restricted because of this pandemic otherwise i could have gathered more data i could have gone for some other sectors as well but i could only connect with the education sector because i am i have an access with this education sector with different academicians from different parts of the country that is why i could reach them but apart from that it's quite difficult you see we have to restrict to certain extent okay sir got it thank you so so much as we are running out of time uh, any other participants uh, if you have some question you can please unmute your mic and you can ask the question well i am trying to send you this one file but i don't know what's running over here so i think one question is there in chat box acha well can you just read out the question in the meantime i'll just try okay, to send okay it's it's it's, it's, a, it's a question from zakir alam uh, he says that thank you sir for the productive session my question is what will you suggest to improve our productivity with all these limitations that we are facing these days i repeat what will you suggest to improve our productivity with all these limitations that we are facing these days when we try to do online teaching i find student don't finding interesting to online interaction even if they are having good access to internet okay so uh, this is an issue obviously this is an issue with the uh, uh, students because uh, 
nobody is habituated with this online kind of a thing because as i told you it's all about your adaptation and adoption okay the first stage is that we need to adopt this okay uh, sorry we need to adapt this uh, technique of online teaching next is to adopt um, it's like uh, we spent like say uh, 10 to 30 using this only physical classroom kind of a setup all of a sudden if you are going into the online technique that's a difficult thing that's a difficult thing for everyone i remember in the year 1994 when uh, your computers were replaced uh, with your um, what do you call it physical uh, work in the banks many of the employees they uh, retired they went into voluntary retirement the thing is that they worked with the physical method for almost 20 years all of a sudden it has been replaced with your computers right they could not adapt themselves so they either retired or they left it i mean this is the problem you see this is what happened actually so uh, you need to you need to motivate your student that is what i would say you need to motivate your student you need to give them some interesting task okay something that will interest them to use the device more and more okay so that's what you can do the rest so i don't see don't see much of a thing to do at the moment motivation is the word i would say Uh, sir i even i would like to ask you one more question sir what about the evaluation system mm -hmm. because like because of this online teaching and all examinations are i mean it's not going to continue, take place as of now so how you suggest the evaluation system can take place in the in the future run if, if the same online teaching continues then how can the evaluation system be done so that it will be helpful no i i told you already we can we can move towards this uh, multiple choice question set up many many institutions use that many institution use that for this online examination purpose so we can go for that as well you can sit at your home uh, there are uh, as i told you there is this app called kahoot okay uh, you can use that you can use that for uh, your uh, real time basis test you see so that is one thing you can do uh, with regard to descriptive type thing even even you can use the descriptive type method what is the problem there are many organizations that uses this open book examination method even 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 in our country when it comes to many uh, high level examinations departmental examinations they use this open book method let them use this open book method let them uh, uh, use it on their laptops or or let them have a handwritten thing and then upload it where uh, to the google classroom say for example that can be done because you see uh, surviving is more important at the moment right we need to adapt we need to adapt to certain things but the thing is that we need to survive this pandemic as well so for the moment we can we can we can change our strategies as well some strategies needs to be changed obviously that is what i am saying thank you sir i think we don't have any more question from the session okay so sir with this i think we will come to the end of the session Uh, I would really like to thank you. Sir, to if you can please could... share the file, yeah. Can, if you can please share the file, I think we can share. That is what I am trying to do, but it is not getting shared. I am trying. Just, just a minute. I don't want to see my window now. No, sir. No. No, no, sir. Just a minute, I'm. Okay, I'm sending it to your mail. Okay. Okay, you you check your mail. It is there with you now, I guess. Um, I'll check. Sir. Yeah, I think I get. I got it, sir. Mm hmm. 
Just open it up and present it. I think you can see, sir. Yes, yes, I can see. So you see here, uh, uh, can you just um, uh, zoom it a little bit? Because I don't think so. Yes, Others are also able yes, to yes. see. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing that, sir. Yeah, Can you hear me, sir? I can hear you, but uh, I cannot see. Pro uh, uh, yeah, I see. Yes. Uh, this, now, is this visible now? Ah, uh, this is this is. I think everyone can see now. So you see, uh, this is a part yes. of the uh, study that I have done with the respondents. So you can see what are the positive effects and the negative effects of work from home. Uh, that is what they stated in one sentence. Okay, so you see on one side, uh, uh, a person has said that it encourages his ICT knowledge. Fine, but at the other hand, he said that there are a lot of fitness losses that he's facing. Second, you can see I can dedicate much time to my professional development, and the on the other hand, he said that lack of proper motivation. So these are the this is the situation with regard to uh, work from home according to them. Uh, Pile, please scroll down a little bit. I have some very funny comments over here as well. What they have said with regard to you can you can read it yourself even because everyone is I think able to see this if I'm not wrong, isn't it, Pile? Pile, okay. just scroll it. Down can you slowly. hear me, sir? Am I audible? I can yeah, hear yeah, you. Yeah. I can can hear you see, it. sir? Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Can you see? Yeah. Yes, yes. So, uh, so you see one, some of, one of them have commented. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, one of them have commented um, e content development, and then they have said that isolation without work. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, okay. destination in time, lack of instant feedback from students. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you see these are the things. Then uh, cannot be as equal as classroom teaching. Uh, then it the other side is health issues. That is one negative comment as well. Practical experience which comes from lab and sharing practical experience to uh, towards students. So obviously everyone is facing that kind of problem. Okay. Exactly. To attend webinars. Yes, we are attending webinars over here, but uh, unfortunately, somehow, but somehow yes, we yes. are we are enhancing our knowledge by attending these webinars of things. But what about the students? What 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 is being done about the students? This is the problem you see. The students are being deprived by some way or the other. This is a very very kind of a negative thing that has happened in the last few months. Okay, then so, some can do comment you see no response from students even after it. Okay. Even after repeated appeal and repeatedly from asking that whether they, they have understood they have the material, yeah. then don't have to travel and too much so, use of cell phones. Ah, obviously that is also hampering our mind. Obviously, we are using too much of cell phones. We are getting uh, getting affected with the radiation. There are some more comments. Please move down a little bit, pile. Uh, need to be busy in cooking and household works. You see, someone has commented that as well. Through Zoom app, we can work as well as we can have food. So likewise, there are a few positive aspects similar to that. And also not going to workplace is helping us get more productive time for other work too. Or else at workplace, it becomes difficult to devote the regular schedule that is 9 a.m. to 4 a.m. Going out to the work and help us learning and experiencing other things also. 
Uh, you see that one, it is not possible to connect with all the students as some of them are not having smartphones and internet connectivity. This is also a thing that has happened. Next, please move down a little bit. Consuming process. Yeah, that is also there. Little bit down, please. Okay, you read this. Read this comment. Yes, this one. Uh, at least, uh, wait. What happened? Where did you go now? Mm. Ah, this, 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 this. Wait, wait, wait. At wait, least. Wait. To... Ah. <laughs> yes, please read. Please read it. At least to some extent, students are taken off. A new experience of teaching learning process. Even some students residing at remote location had to climb high trees and sit on the branches to send this seminar presentation. This is amazing. Depressed due to long Thank way, you. long away from workplace. So, anyways, these are the comments that we had. There are a lot of there are a lot of comments. Seventy four negative and seventy four positive. I have not noted noted down all of this over here because it is a time consuming process otherwise. Okay, so anyways, I would like to just uh, conclude over here. Um, uh, so thank you, Payal, for moderating this session. And thank you, everyone, for being so uh, cooperative in uh, this entire session. So Payal, it's up to you now. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, sir, for sparing your time, for giving your valuable time and sharing your knowledge in this topic, work from home culture. I hope our participants have learned a lot from this. And once again, I would like to thank you on behalf of the Department of Commerce from the Sir College and also from the department from our doc talk series from on behalf of our college for attending the uh, for being a guest speaker, inviting our ex uh, invitation and accepting our invitation and becoming a part of the session. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, Payan. And I thank uh, Tetsu College as well for giving me this opportunity for speaking in this uh, particular topic on uh, this day. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. OK. Bye, everyone. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.